Welcome back. This is We on continuing with Tamil Nadu. Protests have erupted after Sashikala Natarajan was elected as the leader of the ADMK party on Sunday, paving her way to become the next CM after Panir Selvam's resignation from the position. DMK President M.K. Stalin expressed his concerns and took to uh, social media to talk about his uh, frustrations. Let's see what he had to say. Quote, the people of Tamil Nadu did not vote for anyone from Jay Lalita's household to become the chief minister. Meanwhile, senior Congress leader P. Chidambaram also took shots at the ADMK leader. He tweeted saying, it is the right of the ADMK MLAs to elect their leader. It is the right of the people to ask if the leader deserves to be the chief minister, looking back with pride. Tamil Nadu's chief, Tamil Nadu's chief minister chair was occupied by Kamaraj and Anna. The ADMK and the people of Tamil Nadu are now moving in opposite directions, end quote. Earlier on, Jay Lalita's niece Deepa Jay Kumar and ousted ADMK Rajya Sabha MP Sashikala Pushpa, not to be confused with Sashikala Natarajan, expressed their concerns and their discontent over the new appointment of Sashikala Natarajan and her elevation as the party head of the ADMK. The only problem is that whether the people of Tamil Nadu have voted for uh, Sashikala or the ADMK party. Sashikala was, uh, did, had, not, had never contested in any elections. Sashikala had never been in a party position. So the problem is that the people's mandate, uh, whether it is for the Sashikala or not, is the question. The unfortunate that the people who are not in the Raj और पार्टी के एक प्राथमिक सदस्यत भी नहीं है ऐसे लोग आकर अगर एक राज्य का कारोबार संभाले तो ये बड़ा डेमोक्रेसी के लिए बहुत बड़ा संदेश नहीं है well, the dissent and the frustration grows against the elevation of Sashikala Natarajan as the CM of Tamil Nadu. She's expected to take the oath in just a few days this Thursday. Expelled ADMK lawmaker Sashikala Pushpa has now written to the Prime Minister of India against the party's vote. Now, in the letter to the Prime Minister, uh, Modi, Pushpa says that Natarajan will bring extremely bad names to the political system. She also cited that Natarajan had an alleged criminal background and that is the reason for the opposition. Sashikala Natarajan, who was elected as the chief of Tamil Nadu's uh, ADMK last month, is now tipped to become the new chief minister after she was appointed the legislative party leader this Sunday. Natarajan rose to prominence after the death of former chief minister J.J. Lalitha last December. All right, now shifting gears from Tamil Nadu to the other end of India, Uttar Pradesh now, where political bigwigs are campaigning ahead of the assembly elections. Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi will now address poll rallies in many parts of the state, including Shamli, Mathura and Aligarh. The Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh and the Samajwadi Party leader, Akhilesh Yadav, will also be out and about campaigning in the districts of Sitapur. And hitting out against the campaign trail will be uh, Home Minister Rajnath Singh, who will hold election rallies in Kaskanj, Firozabad, Mathura and Bulanchair districts of UP. Meanwhile, in New Delhi, BJP ministers Venkaya Naidu and Nirmala Sitaraman will meet the election commissioner later on on Monday. The union minister, Ravi Shankar Prasad, also on Sunday said the government may take a major step to ban triple talaq after the UP polls. This um, triple talaq issue is not an elected rate uh, related issue, should not be combined with one particular state election. It is a question of uh, human rights. It's a question of equal rights to all, irrespective of caste, creed, sex, religion, and region. We say India is one. That being the case, there should not be any discrimination. There should not be any harassment. There should not be any injustice. 
to any section of the people and more particularly women. Muslim women who are doing this kind of demand are doing that the Quran is the procedure of the Quran that is followed by the Quran to the Quran. The question is why the election is not the election. If they want to take the law, then take the election before the election. So this means that the Muslim women are going to vote bank and the Quran is the politics of the Quran to the Quran. Well, news now coming in from Chennai, where the National Green Tribunal has asked the central government to answer within 24 hours regarding the steps taken to rectify the oil spill off the coast of Chennai. The police seeking compensation and seizure of both the vessels was made to the National Green Tribunal. Earlier this month, two merchant vessels carrying oil and LPG collided. And then that led to a massive oil spill that spread 70 kilometers across the Tamil Nadu coast. The oil spill have also affected the marine life there as well as the livelihood of local fishermen. All right, now moving on to other stories. The Ajat quota agitation in the northern state of Haryana has now entered its eighth day. On Sunday, the protests remained peaceful even as authorities heightened sec security. According to officials, various demonstrations were held in several areas amidst stringent security arrangements. Haryana's main opposition party, India's National Lokdal, has now come out in full support of the Jats and has asked the government to meet their demands. The government is closely monitoring the situation in Haryana. Well, the 